Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I'm going to give you a look at my eBay takings for this week. As you know, I'm not the biggest fan of eBay. Um, I don't like their rules, I don't like their policies, I don't like the way they run, I don't like the fact they don't look after their sellers, they more look after the buyers. However, on saying all of that, there isn't a platform anywhere that competes with it. It, it does get the results. So, despite that, we have to swallow our pride and sometimes we have to use it. Now, as I've told you, um, I've reduced the selling price in the shop to a more affordable level. Not some, it's, I have had people say, is it because I show people what I pay for the items? And no, it's not. If I'm not exactly coming or living in a very wealthy area. A lot of the people in the area I live are single mothers or people who are not in work on benefits. There are a lot of people with money, don't get me wrong, but there's an awful lot of people who are not that well off. Um, so in the area I'm living in, um, in the in the valleys, then I have to drop the average price per item. Now that leaves me with the problem then of selling my dearer pieces. So, um, I have been using a website, um, well, I've tried a dozen different websites uh, over the years and you know, none of them have really given me the results I want. Um, so I transferred to Shopify which is an e-commerce website and I'm still not getting the results I want. You know, just not getting the sales I want. And it's not the items or the price or my descriptions because I'm putting them on eBay and they're selling on eBay. The only downside with eBay is I don't like eBay's fees and everything else, as I've already said. So what I'm going to do now is I've been back on for seven days, literally uh, seven days exactly, uh, bar for about an hour ago. Um, so I'm seven days and one hour, if you want to be exact. Now, in that time, I have listed on Buy It Now and on Auction. I currently have 135 Buy It Now items um, with a fixed price of £13,430 for the 135 items. I have also sold quite a bit. Now I'm going to give you a look at what I've sold and then we're going to look at how much I owe eBay for them sales. So bear with me. So this is saying I have sold 30 pieces in uh, the, since I've been back on in seven days and I have an average of, well, I have a one thousand three hundred sixty-eight That isn't quite exact because I'll explain now, that is minus, that is 1,368 plus I have another 900 and odd pound to go on top and I'll explain to you why in a minute. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down now and um, just show you the bits that I've gone through. So obviously you've seen the video now with all the mining memorabilia. That all went through and finished this morning. Um, 70 pounds, 25s. The mining checks, you know, they had an average, I think, when you you added them up and divided. Um, sorry, so I'm not 100% where we were. So I'm going to skip over all the mining stuff now. Because um, obviously that you've seen that in another video anyway. And the average price for the mining, I think, finished up at about £20 a piece by the time you added it all in together. So I'm going to look at now, um, next piece here was a little, well they weren't little, it was uh, a good 10 inches square hand-carved Buddha, probably mid 20th century. I managed to achieve 85 for that. Um, a Baccarat crystal squirrel, I got 20. This was interesting. I've had this in the shop for two months, something like that. Um, you saw me buy her out of Abergavenny. I only paid something like a ten in Abergavenny for it. And I had her in the shop and no interest whatsoever. I put it online. It sold the same day, £125. There's the Brightlin. Now, I said to you the sales total wasn't right. Basically, what's happened, I sold it for £905. I sold within 10 minutes. Now, I wasn't going to sell my watch, but I'll talk to you about that at the end. I've decided I'm going to buy a building. I don't want to keep renting at the end of this year. As you can see, it's refunded. Now, the reason is um, I haven't shipped it yet. I've still got it, still got it here. Um, basically, a gentleman from overseas has bought it from Hungary. 
and I'd refuse to ship it overseas and he's going to provide me with a UK billing address or shipping address. Um, however, when he made the payment, it was to, on his checkout, was the hungry address. And to be protected under the PayPal protection, it has to have go to the registered address. So he's got to reissue me the payment with a UK address for shipping through PayPal to protect me. So it's a £900 to add on to my total. Um, Ladro Dolphin, £30. Pair of brass, David Copperfield figures, 17 A nice Georgian rinser. 17, 90, 18, 10, somewhere around by there. Um, real nice, beautiful cut crystal, Georgian, Irish Georgian glass. And I achieved £40 for that. Set of Crown Ducal plates, 25 Um A Royal Dalton uh, vase, £30. Again, another one. I own a silver. I've had this bracelet in the shop for about three, three weeks. At the full £55, I put it on eBay for £55, it sold in 10 minutes. Uh, Cardiff City Crested Way Trophy, £62. Then we come into some dearer pieces, some Beswick Graduated Seagulls, 130 The Metamorphic High Chair you saw me buy uh, back about six months ago. Um, I put it in the office, didn't do much with it, I had 85 for that. 75 for the lamp and 155 for three mixed Bezic birds. Um, so my total for the seven days, guys. Um, you have to add on the 900 because it's been deducted off. So it's 2,200 something for seven days of sales. When you put it like that, it actually sounds really, really good. Um, you know, it sounds, oh my God, what a lot of money, um, and so on. However, let me go see now. How do I find my account? It's been a while since I've used this. Let's go to accounts. And I'm going to see whether or not we can find out how much now it cost me to make this money. Now, I know it cost me £43 to be paid by PayPal. For that £911. Um, summary shop promotion. Orders, all orders, posted. Just go to help. If bear with me a minute, I don't know how to use eBay, so it's been a while since I've used eBay. So accounts, clicking. Uh, view. There we go, let's have a look what that says. How to view and download your invoice, right? The invoices I want. Let's see how we do it. Oh, right. Print the friendly version. Let's see what it says. Bear with me. Let's swap you over. Right, I've got to view my invoice, so bear with me a second, guys. I don't know what to do right now. Sign into your account on ebay.co.uk. Yeah, we done that, yes, yes. And yes. click my eBay at the yes, top of your page. Yes, done that. From my eBay, place your pointer over the account tab. That's not good, because that's not what I got anymore. That is so old, they've updated the software now, look. That's the old version. If I go to my eBay, this is my eBay, where's my accounts? Marketing, preference, performance, rather, growth. Eh. Where the hell am I supposed to find my invoices. Uh, basket. I want to view my invoice. How do I get my invoice? Uh, items for sale, business, advanced. Guys, how the hell do I get my invoice on you? It shouldn't be this bloody hard, should it? I want to know how much I owe eBay. Right, bear with me, I'm going to find the invoice and I'll start again. Okay guys, drama over, I finally found it. Don't ask me how, I couldn't find it again. So, there we go, I have taken on eBay 2,200 and something, and there are my fees. 239 pounds and 70 pence in a week. 
So basically eBay is taking a full 10% of my take. So whatever I take, it's 10% across the board. Between listing fees, commission, and everything else and that, they're obviously taking a, pretty much a 10%. That's what I owe, 239.70. And then you've got the PayPal fees to consider. As I said, I got paid already this morning once and I had to refund him, so I know how much the PayPal fees are. He paid me 911 pounds for the watch and the PayPal took 43 pounds to the point I'm saying to him, well, send me a bloody bank transfer instead because he's struggling on changing the address on checkout. Um, so we'll see what happens. I didn't want to sell the watch. I, um, I did tell you I was going to keep the watch and then I had a change of heart. Basically, there's a shop up the road going for sale in the auction in two weeks time. Guided at £35,000. And I'm thinking to myself, if I weigh in the gold, sell a bit of art, sell a few other pieces, if the shop goes between 30 and 50, I got a chance of buying it. And I thought, well, I'll start letting go some better pieces. And I thought, I'll see how much I can raise by the time the auction comes on. And I can always weigh the gold in. The gold is a, is a fixed commodity. It's always going to be worth the money. So I'm going to see how much I can raise without my gold at the moment. And if I can pull 10 or 15,000 or whatever in the next two or three weeks, then I'll know how much gold I got and I'll know whether or not I can bid on the shop. Nothing saying I'm going to be successful, but I have decided um, I've done okay this year. I've decided rather than paying £100 a week rent, even if it takes me a year, I'm going to buy one of these buildings down here and have a permanent shop with no rent. Um, there's three to four shops empty at the moment in the mount. There's two up for auction. There's a massive billiard hall next to me that I'm considering. And there's an old southern Vauxhall or shop halfway up with a beautiful double fronted uh, bay window, two of them. Big massive shop. And that's not even up for sale. So I'm wondering, I might be able to get hold of the owners and buy that. So there's a few things I'm looking into. Um, but the one thing is for sure, I'm going to keep my shop, um, but I would like to buy it rather than rent, so I'd, I'd save myself 5000 something odd a year. Makes sense to me. So I've decided I'm going to let go of some of my better pieces. I decide I'm going to sell my George Shalders watercolour, my uh, Samuel Prout watercolour. I'm going to sell some of the rarer pieces I have in the home. I have 10 or 15 pieces that are worth a few thousand pounds. So I'm going to let go of all those. It just depends on how long they take for me to sell and whether or not I can be successful on this shop. But I have made a decision now, even if it takes me a year, I'm going to buy rather than rent. So we're going to, that is our plan. So for the next, however long, if I don't get that one, I'm here for six months anyway, because I've got another year, uh, six months on the lease. But um, if I could buy one, I could spend six months working on it and getting it right. I can have, have free, rent, uh, free rates for so many months. So I'm going to look into buying somewhere. Where? Well, it's obviously a mount, but which shop it will all depend on how much I can raise and how quickly I can raise it. So, yeah. I'll show, in fact, I'll, while you're here now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the... Um, Bear with me, Paul. I'm going to show you the uh, building I was just looking at, thinking, hmm, I wonder. Oh. I've done something wrong there. Bear with me. I work back. Come on, work, work. Options. Download. Scroll down. Bear with me a second, guys, and I'm going to show you the building I'm considering. Seeing if I can raise enough funds for. Right, let me turn around. Now, this is the building here. This one here is going up for sale in public auction and it's guided at 35,000. Now, you have the optical center here, you have that's the shop, then you have a supermarket, you have the bus stop right outside, and you have a Greg's either side, I'm not sure which side it is, but you have a Greg's as well. So it's quite a busy little part of the town. And it comes with parking. You can see, hang on, bear with me. Perfect for filling with cabinets. No work needed. Just decorate, carpet, cabinets, done. 
parking around the back and unloading and loading. And it's um, a decent size. 111 square, well, 112 square meters in total. So that's what I'm considering at the moment, guys. Now, I didn't find out this was up for auction until literally two or three days ago. And I've got 10 days <laughs> to raise between 30 and 50,000. So the likelihood is I'm not going to do it. But there's no guarantee that I'll sell in uh, this auction. It might go unsold, not re reserve, and be sold again in another auction at a later date. Or it may sell, and then the other one may go up for sale. There's a few property in Mount, so what I've decided to do anyway, I'm going to let some of my dear pieces go, and I'm going to invest and buy a building. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, buy a building, save stock, it's the same thing, it's still investment. And the only difference is I can work out of it for free, because Mountain Ash is rate free if the shop's in use. So no rates, no mortgage or rent, just sit in there and make my little, make myself at home, make my little shop my uh, happy place. So that's my plan. So I'm letting go of some of the pieces, hence the watch went. Now I only put that watch on, I put it on for a thousand pound and within 10 minutes I had, an offer, well, I had four offers, but the best offer was 900 pounds, which I took. Um, and then when I found out he was overseas, I declined and he came back and said 905 and said, I'm actually, I can give you a UK shipping address. And that's why I took it. But when he paid, he, he, the wrong address came up on checkout, so I'm waiting for him to redo it. So there's the first thousand in. Plus not to mention, I've already taken a thousand, well, I've done 2,200 in this week. But at that rate, that's not enough to make 30,000. So um, I'll be letting go of some really nice pieces. I'm gonna see how much I can raise in the near future and see how we go. Obviously, if I buy a shop, you'll uh, you'll be the first to see it and see the work that gets done on it. But that's uh, a review of my eBay, guys. Not bad for my first week back. 2,300, if you like, rounded up. Uh, not bad for a week's work. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I still don't like eBay. <laughs> I don't like the... Well, I don't like any of it. And I, I had a hell of a rant on it the other day as well when they gave me a row. Don't get me wrong, I don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's expensive. 10% to eBay, another 5% to PayPal, so it's 15% gone out of whatever I take before you start. So it's 300 gone off uh, that 2,300, so I've got 2,000 for the week. That's all right. I'm gonna get some really expensive pieces on. Um, I'm gonna, gonna put the George Salders uh, watercolor on uh, this week. I'm gonna ask five or six thousand for that. See what offers I get, if any. Um, Drew it neat wanted it for around one and a half, two thousand pounds. Bonhams are gonna look at it for me and see what they're willing to give me. But in all honesty, Sotheby's are selling that size for ten and twelve thousand. Um, so I don't see why I can't achieve five or six thousand for it. I've got a Samuel Prout. Um, I've got some beautiful rare pieces in the home that I'm gonna bang on, see what offers I get. And if I don't get a shop, then I got some nice chunk of change behind me to buy gold. So either way, it's a win-win. So anyway guys, that's my review of eBay done. And obviously a bit of a vlog as to why I'm uh, letting some of my bet pieces go. Hope you enjoyed, if you did, I would appreciate the like and the share guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know you subscribe, I'll give you a thumbs up. Um, you find me on eBay, I have an um, eBay page at the moment, Antiques Arena Clearance. You'll find me on Facebook, I have uh, a page and a group, Antiques Arena. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk or antiquesarena.com. But as the stock is getting sold off that onto eBay, I'm likely to remove my Shopify account and go back to a informational website where I help people and things like that rather than selling um, and I'll be selling the stuff through eBay or the shop I'll deal with the ivory issue later because I got quite a bit of ivory to sell um, <clears throat> other than that guys you can come to see me at the shop it's Antiques Arena 78 Oxford Street Mountain Ash Charlie Fox Road 45 3 Hotel Bravo thanks for watching <laughs>
Bye for now.